In this video, I'm going to show you one of the most important tips for running match defense in Madden 23. What's going on, YouTube? My name is Cody. I want to welcome you here to the YouTube channel. Every day we do videos to help you become better Madden players. So if you're looking to get better at the game, make sure that you hit the subscribe button and turn on the notifications so that you don't miss any of our videos. Now, what I wanted to do in this video is I wanted to walk you through kind of a critical coverage in match defense that you need to be aware of how it works and you need to understand uh, why it is so important important because of some of the changes that EA made to the playbooks in this game. So uh, to illustrate this as best as possible, we're going to use a trips formation uh, because it does show this best. And I am going to come out in the nickel over formation. Now I'm actually going to be releasing a nickel over defensive ebook in my Patreon within the next 24 hours. So if you're not in the Patreon yet, make sure that you are. I already released, uh, I, this morning I dropped a U-Trips offensive ebook. I think one of the most glitchiest offenses in the game. So if you want to get access to everything, Patreon members get everything for 10 bucks. Uh, the link is in the description. If you want to sign up, you'll be able to get access to all of our ebooks. We've already got seven ebooks and by tomorrow we'll have eight ebooks within the first couple weeks of the game. All right, so let's take a look at this real quick. So first things first, we want to make sure that our match, our zone coverage, and our coaching adjustments is always set to match. That's the best way to play defense this year. Really, generally speaking, default is not that good. You want to be on match if you're going to be playing coverage, uh, in my opinion. And then what we're going to do is we're going to show you this. So in a lot of, in almost every nickel formation in this game, with the exception of big nickel over G, it's by the way the reason that our match defensive ebook is based out of big nickel over G. It's also the reason that I think big nickel over G is the best defense in Madden 23. So if you want to check that out, again, Patreon, link in the description. But big nickel over G is the only formation in Madden 23, and it's a nickel set that has all of the match coverages. Every other formation basically has two. Two or three. They typically have cover four quarters, as you see Nickel Over does, and they also have cover six. Now, cover six is a really critical coverage, and there's some formations like Nickel Triple or Nickel 245 Odd or Nickel 335 Odd that only have cover six. So what I wanted to do today was I wanted to show you the importance of cover six and why it is so critical to your match scheme and why this is the primary coverage that you should be running if you're going to be running match because it's the most adjustable and adaptable coverage within the match coverage family. So what we're going to do here is I'm going to show you uh, just a simple basic concept. I believe that um, Darren Waller does have tight end print. It's perfect. So we're going to set up kind of a flood play to the right and I'm going to call cover four quarters. And what you're going to notice is cover four quarters is really good, but there's different rules for trips checks. And a lot of times the safety on the backside won't be able to actually go guard the corner route right on the left side because of the certain type of check uh, that is within. And honestly, I think it's just a, a little bit of a problem with the coding. So anyways, the point is, and I'm going to show this by spying everybody because the Chargers D-line is going to scream at me every single time. But what you're going to see is if I put a corner out to the number three receiver and I run a concept like this, this corner out almost always will be wide open to the sideline. As you can see here, I just throw it to the outside, pass it outside, and it's wide open. I can throw that corner out a million times out of a million, okay? Um, very, very effective corner route. And as you can see, it makes it difficult to play cover four quarters against three receiver sets uh, or trip sets. And the problem is, the majority of the sets in this game are three receiver sets. You're either facing three receiver sets or you're facing compression sets, okay? Those are the main two sets. So how does cover six come and play into all this? Well, it has a different check within it to the cover three or to the, to the cover four side. And not only that, but I can actually recreate a palms coverage by putting the outside quarter to the outside corner, an inside quarter to the inside uh, safety there, and then putting the outside linebacker, I could either man him up on that running back or I can go ahead and put him in a zone uh, if I wanted to. I can kind of do whatever I want with that. I like to put him in a curl flat. You can man him up and he will play exactly like uh, the palms coverage does. But anyways, what you'll see now is this same route combination is not going to be open. You're going to see that this coverage is going to defend it properly, and now we're going to be able to stop this play. Now, the general principle that I want to leave you with is cover six is it does have its own unique principles. But when you adjust cover six and you put a you basically create a cover for palms 
look to trips sets and you will create a cover four quarters set look uh, to two by two sets. So um, what you'll see here is if it's a two by two set, let's say for example that I motion this guy to the right side of the screen. Now you're going to see that we're gonna actually play a two by two quarters check and we're gonna be able to handle everything accordingly. So cover six is one of the most important coverages in your match defense. You need to kind of fully understand and commit to learning how it works. The beauty of cover six also is you can flip this coverage and now it's cover nine. You can flip the coverage and now it's cover nine. So you're able to create cover nine and cover six within one coverage as well as quarters against two by two sets and palms against three by one sets. And then of course you still have your cover four quarters if you wanna play that as well. So this is a really, really valuable, I think, tip about cover six, as you'll see here, that if I run this play, this concept that's so good, against uh, zone in match coverage we're going to be able to actually handle that play as you can see right there they match on perfectly so that is how you can kind of use cover six to get done what you need to specifically with trips formations um, let me show you one last little clip and explain this in a trips tight end look and as we're doing that again i would really encourage you if you want to learn all of the match defensive rules and how they work make sure you get our match coverage defensive ebook we released that in the first week the game came out and uh really i think is one of the best ebooks that we've released all year because match defense this year is really 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 good but i want you to look at this corner route to waller so this is one of the problems with cover six if i put the running back on a streak waller is going to basically get open um, to the corner late. You saw he was running wide open. Obviously, I'm getting shattered, but you saw he was running wide open. That's because cover six um, isn't the best for trip sets. So what we want to do is, or for, for a trip side in set, we want to basically isolate that tight end and make sure that he is batched. So what we want to do is we want to outside quarter the outside guy, and then we want to curl flat or we could even use her, honestly, we could use her in this example. We'll just use her this guy, and then we're going to man that guy up on the running back, or if we want to, we can put him in a curl flat. Okay, so you see this uh, this adjustment? Now, if you watch this corner route, it's gonna look like it's open, um, but as you can see here, it's really not. My guy is right there. Obviously, he got outran, um, but he's right there in the position uh, to be able to make a play. So that's a great way to adapt out of a cover six set where you now have this kind of like free run player that you can do whatever with. If you want to use this guy against trip side in, that's actually not that bad of a setup. So you see I'm in something like this against trip side in, and now I've got a lot of freedom with my user, and you see that the corner route was completely bagged on that play. Guys, cover six is a really important play. Learn how it works. Learn how to adjust out of it. If you want all of the ways that you can do that step-by-step -step and instruction and explanation of how these coverages work, make sure you get into the Patreon. $10 gets you access to everything, all the eBooks, including the match coverage defensive eBook. Thanks for watching the video, and hopefully we will see you guys at the Patreon. Again, if you want to sign up, the link is down in the description.